to Anaheim, California, the home of the Ducks, a team that was born from a movie and has now become a strong franchise here in the league. Center's both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. The Avalanche have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Takes a shot! Scores! Well, was that quick enough for you? Yeah, it was quick. You want to dictate pace, especially when the puck drops and put one in early. That's the best way to get it done. You see players working from this area all the time in practice. A quick snapshot. Goalie can't get set to position in time, and it winds up in the back of the net. The Avalanche have struck first, they've struck fast, and they are up here early in the first. You always want to get out in front when you're on the road, really dictate the pace. They did just that, and now the home team is chasing the game. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Broken up by Taves. Denies them in close. This shot's come from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. What a save by Gibson. Excellent stick work on the play. Grabbed along the board by Terry. Gains the zone from the right. Puck picked up by Nachuskin. Quick pass to Rantanen. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Well saved made by Gibson. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Avs have taken a 1-0 lead. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Moves it to Rantanen. And he takes a shot. Turns that one away. Covers it up. We'll get a stoppage in play. The Avs have been the busier team on the ice and the score shows thus far. Colorado's got it, and they're on the attack. And that goes off a player. Grabs control of it at the point. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Handles the puck from the left side. And that pass goes off a stick. The Ducks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Oh, and a smart heads-up play. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Colorado's ahead, 1-0. Nice job tying up his opponent. Thunderous collision along the wall. You want to send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone-crushing hit, that does just that. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Colorado's going to start with the puck in their own end. Wood's got the puck in his own zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Rocked him in the open ice. Sends it in deep. The Avs gained control of the puck. Jones never gave up on that play, James. It's a reason why he was able to get a shot off. Listen, I'll also tell you, not everyone has the skill set to be able to pull it off. I mean, he stumbles, he gets the puck in tight, and he still finds a way to get it to the net. That's incredible display of skill and, of course, Scores! And we are back to even! Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they showed throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they've just created and doing something with it. I love the way they were able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have, and then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. Here in the back half of this period, it's all tied up. To the trot center, they've got a hold of the puck. Smart defensive play there. Taken by Taze. And he takes the feed. 
Here's a short pass to Rantanen. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. The Avs scoop it up along the boards. And sends it just out of reach. Oh, what a stop with the kick save! And now he moves it quickly to Terry. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Nice connection on the cross-ice pass. Tries to the crease. Oh, a clutch save! Georgiev's able to deny that scoring chance right from the slot area, James. That's a beautiful one. Across the line, down the left wall. Anaheim's got the puck now. Here they come. He got all of that one. And he comes up with a stop there. Makar stick handling in his own zone. He's got a stop. Stopped on the breakaway. What a save he made there. Well, I loved how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint. He said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. Getting into the later stages of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Colorado's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Shot from the point. That's blocked. Taken along the wall by Manson. Loves the puck into the offensive zone corner. Denies him! Scores! There it is, the go-ahead goal! And how good does that feel? You can see the selling. The energy is certainly there, and now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. For a second there, I thought he had it, James. I mean, that would have been on the highlight reel, but he can't catch up to it. I mean, it's an A for effort, but it still winds up in the back of the net. Colorado's got up by one here in this opening frame, but there's a lot of game to go here. Yeah, and I always feel like those next few shifts are critical because you know your opponent, they're either going to respond or they're not. If they don't respond and you're on your toes, you push them back and you look for a second. Scores! It's in the back of the net! Incredible. Two goals, 30 seconds apart. Cheryl, you stress consistently. Keep your feet moving on the ice, and that pays off. Well, they got the pedal to the metal right now. They're like a freight train. There's no way that the goaltender saw this puck. I mean, there's so much traffic net front. I mean, screens all over the place. You can see him trying to track Bob and Weave, but he can't catch up to it. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Scrum ensues along the boards. First period nearly in the books here. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Gets it over to McDermott. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Strom's got it through center. Fires it on net. Denied by the goaltender. McKinnon's so strong on the puck. His balance makes it hard to knock him off, especially when he's using his unstoppable force zone ability. McThomas's no contact zone ability is when he comes up with possession in those 50-50 puck battles to keep the play going. I'm expecting one of these star players to push their team tonight. James, over to you. All right, time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight. Period number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Gibson's the only reason that his team is in this game, James, and he's been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, and his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. forward. Here's a shot. Glove save. Georgiev's been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going north. And he's got that one. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Georgiev's got the puck and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, but he makes a key save right there. Really important that he keeps his head in focus in the game. 
The Ducks have had more scoring opportunities to this point, but they continue to trail early in this second period. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Quick pass over to Lacombe. With possession along the wall. Centering feed, and that's intercepted. Here's a chance. time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. It's a 3-1 hockey game. Lots of offense already. Picks up the puck in his own end. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Anaheim's got the puck. Receives the pass. and it winds up as a goal. The Ducks are finally rewarded for all their efforts offensively here tonight. Yeah, they've been real creative in the offensive zone and they're shooting from everywhere and they're able to convert and they get within striking distance. Puck scooped up by Lacombe. On the attack along the boards. Oh, how do you miss that? I mean, it's all part of the game, but Cheryl, you've got to connect on that one. Well, you do, especially when you get those great A scoring chances. You have to find a way to, at minimum, get it to the net. But, man, I think he had a little more time on his side, and it just ricochets off his toe. Fires it, and that's broken up. Puts a little mustard on the hip to knock the puck loose. And it's a quick pass to Strom. With some open space here in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Matrano. Blocked in front. Now a quick pass to Drysdale. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Past the midway mark in this period. The Ducks still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. The Avs take possession off the faceoff. And he slides it quickly to Tatar. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Moves it to the middle. Misses the net. A chance on goal. Oh, what a great save by Georgiev. The Ducks have been the busier team offensively with plenty of scoring chances, just no finish, and they trail here in period two. McKinnon's won it in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Rantanen. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Crosses the puck loose. And now it's grabbed by Rantanen. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Moves it to the middle. Another pass. the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. Slides it across to Rantanen. Quick feed to Terry. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Henrique. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Here in the late going of the frame, 3-2 is where we sit in what has been a tightly contested affair. Colorado's got the win off that draw. Slides the puck to McDermott. The Avs played along the boards. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. And now he moves it quickly to Leeson. Looks to make a play over to Gerard. And now he angles it across to McDermott. Into the corner now. Anaheim's got the puck. The Clogged up, blocking that. 
Wax it into the offensive zone. Slides it quickly to look home. Shoot, shoot, shoot! Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. here on period number three. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Quick pass to Terry. Takes the feed. Oh, great reflex pass stopped by Georgiev. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Avs are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. Colorado's grabbed a hold of the puck. The Avs cross the blue line and are on the attack. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Rantanen. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. And he's knocked off the puck there. Puck grabbed by Rantanen. And that's deflected off someone in front. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. The Ducks have looked good tonight, but they still trail here early in this third period despite leading in the shot department. Off the draw, they take possession. Feeds it to Vetrano. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Moves into the slot. Oh, he caught all of that. What a save by Georgiev. Gains the zone through center. Anaheim's got the puck in their own end. And some textbook body contact there. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Picked up along the wall by Drysdale. Feeds it over to McTavish. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. The Avs pick up Steven and are on the attack. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. The goaltenders have the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Uses the force on that hit. Puts it on net, and there it is. Stopped by Gibson. Feeds the puck over to Groove. Dumps the puck in. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Moves it to Byram. Tries to get it to Lekanen. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Drysdale. And now it's to Groove. Gotta love these moments within a game, James. It's tight. The game really hasn't opened up. You gotta play free, but you have to play responsible as well. Gudas has that zone ability that helps him create scoring chances, guys. His team could use that here as they're trailing. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. They've got numbers. Sends it over. And he had an answer with that save. Takes over a shot. Save made by the goalie. This is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware. Knows where the shooter is in that low slot and makes the save. Here's a short pass to Gerard. The Avs have it now. And he takes the dish. Dished on over to Johnson. Dishes it to Colton. Moves it quickly over to Tatar. Oh, what a blocker stopped by Gibson. Colorado's got it along the wall. Oh, a true warrior to block that. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Shot! Simple glove save by Georgiev. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. The Ducks coaching staff has to be frustrated. Their players have played well tonight, but they just can't finish on some of these chances, and we're running out of time late in the third. Well, you're leading late in the game. You've got to find a way to kill the clock. You know what the best thing is to do? Make sure it's not in your zone. That takes the pressure off, and that's a smart dump right there. Shot! Stop by 
the goaltender. Georgiev's gonna hang on to the puck and get a stoppage in play. Nothing gives confidence to a team more than a big save, and he's been doing it all night, James. Check in with our own Carlin Bade. Who had the better night in that head-to-head -head matchup with the Stars? McKinnon's got my vote here, guys, and this was a close decision for me. The players were tied with votes, so for me, it was hard to choose, but I thought he worked hard, and he's really impressed me. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. Oh, complete explosion on that physical hit. Sends it in front, and that goes off a stick and off target. This is a smart play right there, James, to put the puck in deep and just know the time and the awareness of the clock. You don't want any odd man rushes, and you just want to kill it. Moves the puck along the half wall. Handles that one. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. That is a lonely cage at the other end of the ice here, Cheryl. Well, it certainly is, and an extra attacker on the ice. Possession is critical. Got to win this faceoff. And he takes the feed. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. Handles the pass. Blocked in traffic. And that's all she wrote on this one as we are in the books. The Avs looked overwhelmed in certain aspects of this game, but yet they maximize their scoring opportunities and they get the win. Well, finding a way to win, that's exactly what happened tonight. They really didn't deserve it, James, and this is frustrating for their opponent who really beat them in all areas except on the scoreboard. Well, that brings the night to an end, and we will say goodbye here from rinkside from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. I gotta get to bed. See ya.